Well, 16 private universities, including two here in Chicago, are part of a class action lawsuit over financial aid. That suit alleges a conspiracy to reduce aid for lower and middle class families. WGN's Jewel Hillary in Evanston with more on the complaint. Hi, good evening. Northwestern University and the University of Chicago are named as defendants in this recently filed 60 page lawsuit alleging that the elite schools are part of a cartel of universities that have tampered with financial aid, negatively impacting working and middle class families. As someone who relies heavily on financial aid to go to this school, um, it kind of sucks to hear that. Some of the most prestigious universities in the nation, like Yale and Vanderbilt, are among more than a dozen elite private institutions, including local academic powerhouses, Northwestern University, and the University of Chicago, listed as defendants in a class action suit alleging an illegal financial aid conspiracy over charging financial aid recipients. The suit claims that the defendants, by their own admission, have participated in a price-fixing cartel that is designed to reduce or eliminate financial aid as a locus of competition, and that, in fact, has artificially inflated the net price for students receiving financial aid. I mean, it's not really surprising to hear it. Northwestern sophomore Leandra Hawkins says she feels like she's experienced some of the alleged misconduct. Financial aid, it does seem to be reduced for us. Like, they'll get you in the first year um, with good financial aid, and then it feels like it, um, the financial aid decreases as you keep going. The suit alleges misconduct over almost two decades. Defendants have overcharged over 170,000 financial aid recipients by at least hundreds of millions of dollars. Additionally, according to the suit, at least nine of the schools, including Northwestern, have favored wealthy applicants. Obviously, that's, that's terrible. One of the attorneys representing plaintiffs states, in part, as gatekeepers to the American dream, the schools have put the burden of the overcharges on low- and middle-income families struggling to afford the cost of a university education. We will fight to recover those overcharges for students and their families. In spite of the schools allegedly reducing financial laid. Hawkins says that won't stop her from pressing forward. Obviously it's harder, um, but at the end of the day, I, you got to do what you got to do, and I'm still going to attend this university. We did reach out for comments from Northwestern University and the University of Chicago. Representatives from both institutions say they will not comment on the pending litigation. Reporting in Evanston, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.